Dracula was published in the late English period that we know as the Victorian age. It is under the reign of Queen Victoria. All the 17th century has been permeated with appreciation for modernity as the Industrial Revolution had changed England from an agrarian country to an industrial one, bringing deep social changes. Here I am, sitting at a little oak table where in old times possibly some fair lady sat to pen, with much thought and many blushes, her ill-spelled love letter, and writing in my diary in shorthand all that has happened since I closed it last. It is the 19th century up to date with a vengeance, and yet... Unless my senses deceive me, the old centuries had, and have, powers of their own, which mere modernity cannot kill. But at the end of the century, where Dracula is published, many ideals were already crumbling down. And that's why there is a big difference between Dracula's castle in Transylvania, that looks ancient and ruined, a typical Gothic environment, and the great modern London, where the Count goes spring upon. So he is attracted by the wealth of modernity. But neither Mina nor Dr. Seward are able to fight the Count and his power. So we are suggested that even if modernity Unity in science and technology has been achieved, superstition and religion are still needed. In fact, the only character that managed to def defeat the Count is Van Helsing, who is a doctor in modern science, but he also has an open mind towards ancient legends. A year ago, which of us would have received such a possibility in the midst of our scientific, skeptical, matter-of-fact 19th century? We even scouted a belief that we saw justified under our very eyes. Take it, then, that the vampire and the belief in his limitations and his cure rest for the moment on the same base. For, let me tell you, he is known everywhere that men have been. In all Greece, all Rome, he flourished in Germany all over, in France, in India, even in the Shermoses and in China, so far from us in all ways. There even is he, and the peoples for him at this day. He hath followed the wake of the berserker Icelander, the devil-begotten Han, the Slav, the Saxon, the Magyar. So far, then, we have all we may act upon, and let me tell you that very much of the beliefs are justified by what we have seen in our own so unhappy experience. Here, Van Helsing acknowledges the existence of vampires and clearly stated that to defeat the Count, there will have to rely on ancient beliefs and superstition, as modern science is powerless towards Dracula. What shall we do exactly? asked Mr. Morris laconically. The professor paused before replying. We shall at the first bore that ship. Then, when we have identified the box, we shall place a branch of the wild rose on it. This we shall fasten, for when it is there, none can emerge. So that at least says a superstition, and to superstition must we trust at the first. It was man's faith in the early, and it have its root in faith still. Then, when we get the opportunity that we seek, when none are near to see, we shall open the box, and, and all will be well. In this passage, there is clearly the acknowledgement that modern science is of no use anymore. Thought it is impossible to believe that the rose can lock a box, but by now, Van Helsing has already lost his whole hopes into modernity.